Making a good video includes having good sound. When you are using Pictory to edit video, you can add sound in different ways. Let's look at how to use different sound for narration and music. In Pictory, editing is easy and fast because they want to make video creation simple. It's not like using a professional editor where you can do anything you want. Pictory has two sound layers, narration and music. You can use your own music or narration or choose from Pictory library. Let's start with music. If you want a video with just music and text on screen instead of narration, you can do that. When you create text for the video, it will automatically add music. You can change the music if you don't like it. Here's how. Go to the audio tab. There you see different options. The first one is for adding background music. You can search for music by mood, purpose, or genre. Victory has 15,000 tracks to choose from and you won't have copyright issues when you use them. More on that in the end of the video. To add the music, just click apply and it will be in your video. The next tab in the audio section is for voiceover, which is for AI generated voices. The voiceover is based on the text you've written in the story tab. When you apply a voice, it converts the text into spoken words. There are two types of voiceovers. The regular voice comes with the starter program offering 37 voices in seven languages. The professional account includes 60 voices in 29 languages, which are from the 11 Labs website. These voices sound very realistic. If you are on the pro plan, you can use the same voice for some languages. If you need your videos in different languages and want the voice to be consistent, check this option before choosing your branding voiceover. These features apply to pro voices only. For the Pro Voices, there is a limit of 120 minutes per month. But with the regular voices, you have unlimited use. You can see how many minutes you still have in the top of the premium voiceover. Each time you convert text to AI voice, it counts down the minutes. So my advice is to use the regular voice for editing. And when you finish, then switch to the premium voices. This way, it only dedicates the minutes you actually need for the video. Sometimes, though, the pronunciation might not be right. In that case, you can adjust the text in the Story tab. Find the scene you need to change, add spaces or letters to make it sound the way you want. Now, if you change the text for the narration and the subtitle have spelling mistakes, there, there are a couple of solutions. Remove the subtitle completely from the scene, or the other option is to copy the original text from the scene, make the changes for the narration, remove the subtitle, and then go to the text tab. Here you can add the text. Choose the smallest size and paste the text. Customize the style to match the original subtitle. When you make changes to the video after you apply the AI voice, like swiping scenes or splitting text in the story tab, you might end up with some silent parts and seem longer than the voiceover. Click on the Recycle icon next to the video duration to adjust the video so the text matches the scene duration. This might use minutes from your premium voiceover, which is why it's a good idea to use the regular voice when editing. Some voices speak faster, some slower, so the video's duration can vary based on the voiceover you choose. If you want a shorter video, you can change the speed of the voiceover. Each time you generate a voiceover, it uses up your monthly minutes, so use them carefully. Your voiceover quota is reset on the first of each calendar month. However, please note that there is no rollover for voiceover minutes that were not used up the previous month. You can search for voiceover and listen to a demo by clicking the play button. This way, you can hear how a voice sounds without applying it to the video. Although the regular voices don't use up your minutes, generating the voice still takes time. So save the time by listening to the demo when searching for voice. You can also add a voiceover of your own. You have two options to add your voice. One is to record it separately and upload it as one voiceover. The other option is to record the voice directly in Pictory. To upload, just click my uploads and upload the track. To record, click on the microphone icon. If you use AI voice, you will see AI in green on it. Now choose to record voiceover and record it. 
All of your recording will be in my uploads and then voiceover. The recording is for one scene, so you need to record each scene separately. To record, click on the record button. You can hear what you've recorded. Then decide if you want to cancel it, save it for a different use, or apply it to the scene. After you apply it, you can see the scene it's applied in the left tab. You can also remove it. If you want to apply the audio to the whole video, so it matches the voiceover with the text, then click on apply to the whole video. This is a pro option. Now that you have two audio tracks, how do you make them work together? When you create a video without a voiceover, you'll have the music on it. If you want to add voiceover, it will mix both of them so the volume of the music will be softer, allowing viewers to hear the voiceover. This mixing is automated, but if you want to adjust the mixing, go to volume on the audio tab and change the volume of each track until it sounds better for you. As for the licensing of the music in Victory, it comes from a website, Melody. This website gives you permission to use the music in videos you create on Pictory while you are subscribed. So if you plan to cancel your subscription at any time, make sure you uploaded all of the videos and published them before ending your Pictory subscription. If you receive a copyright claim, it's not entirely clear how to resolve it. They instruct you to claim that you have the right to use the music, but they don't provide a license. From my understanding and experience with copyright claims, Here's what you can do. Go to the claim, then click on the track you need to claim and click on license. Click on the square indicating that you have the right to use the track. In the place where you need to add the license information, you can write that you have Victory subscription and they have an agreement with Melody that allow you to use the music in the video you created in Victory. I hope this will work for you if you receive any claim. If it doesn't resolve the issue, contact Victory and ask them what you should do. Provide them with the name of the project in Victory and also the link to your YouTube video. I leave the link to the help docs in the description. Remember to do this while you are subscribed to Victory because when you stop your subscription, the videos are deleted from your account and this may cause your copyright claim. The last thing to consider is the audio in the branding. Branding helps make your video more professional by creating consistency with your content. This includes the voiceover. Using different voiceovers each time you create a video might not sound good for your brand. Here's how to set up your branding voice. Go to the branding tab. If it's your first time creating branding, you'll need to set it up along with other details. You can watch the branding video for detailed instructions. In the last section, choose your branding voice. You don't need more than one voice. It will be easier to find the voice quickly. Just click on it to save. Now, when you're back to your project, if you're in the branding tab, you can apply the voiceover from here. There will be a tag next to the voiceover you choose, indicating that it's your branding voiceover. You can also add music to your branding. This means that when you apply branding to your video, it will also play this music as background music. This music is going to have a tag on the background music tab, so it can be easily found in each time you create a video, and you can also find it under the branding tab. One limitation of the audio in Pictory is that you can't add more than one AI voice. However, you can record a voiceover directly to a scene. Also, I didn't find a way to add more than one track to a video. If you know a way, please write a comment in the comment section to explain how to do it. If you want to learn more about how to use the editor and what you can or can't do, you can watch this video next. Subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.